Well, this afternoon, a small group gathered to remember a dark part of East Texas's past nearly 200 years ago. Our Alan Casper went to the Battle of Natchez Memorial Grounds for an annual remembrance of Chief Bowles, the Indian leader who died on the land in Van Sant County in 1839. Well, actually, Bowles was in Dallas before Dallas was, and he uh, you know, was pushed out, of course. It's the plight of uh, many tribes, nations, people. Lamar was the second president of Texas, wanting all of the Indians out of Texas. They used the Kilo Massacre to come after Bowles and these people, and they found out later it wasn't Bowles and these people. But the whole thing was that the white was expanding and they wanted the Indians land because they had all the choice farmland. There were Cherokees and 12 other tribes here the, the day of the battle. The battle originally started in Chandler, Texas, and it said by the time they got here, they had 19 to 24 weapons among them against uh, fully armed Texicans and Texas Rangers. And the date was July 16th, 1839, and there's several different stories, like you know, the horse was shot at, he was shot off his horse or whatever, and at that point, one of the officers ran up, executed him on the battlefield. But there's still a lot of people even live in this area do not know of this. Today is kind of a watered down ceremony. Because of the COVID, we uh, canceled it last year. We usually have dancers. This year, we'll give you some uh, historical speeches and giving their blessings to our people that died here. It's letting our ancestors know that we're still here for them and a voice for them if there needs to be. To me, it's like going to church the uh, spiritual uh, feeling I get here, the calmness, uh, you say even camaraderie with my ancestral spirits that died here. The spirits of our ancestors still walk upon this land. Their voices shall not be silenced. Their tears and blood that spilled on this land will be in remembrance and in our hearts forever. Well, the American Indian Cultural Society also took time out to remember their longtime board member, Sandra Two Feathers Adams, who passed away in the last year.